less likely to let them cheat than the man who is physically gifted. So I think a better way to phrase that would be do women allow high value, high status men to break more rules? And do mm -hmm. they do women do you guys make more rules for like yeah. dudes that are lower on the food chain? We'll go the around on yes. that one. We'll and go around. We'll yes. start over here. I don't think so. My standards are my standards. Like I don't really care who you are, like you're gonna meet them or you're not. Um, I think that like high achieving men, I think they are almost like more able to like break more rules just because like I don't know like a lot of women appreciate like the security that comes with like that like high achieving men so I think they're like a little scared to leave them but like I think when it comes to respect like no I don't I wouldn't respect like a high achieving man who cheated on me versus like a low achieving man yeah to, I completely agree with that I mean like what kind of just came to my head right now would just be maybe like people like really good athletes or like celebrities or just really rich people maybe because those people have higher statuses right and like while that's cool and all I, I definitely don't think that that has anything to do with like what makes it okay if they cheat on you or not because at the end of the day they're a person and you have to realize that they're like a person and if you're like dating them then that kind of status I feel like wouldn't really have much of an effect on like the deep and intimate relationships that you would have so I, I, I don't yeah I don't think it's I don't think that that makes it okay if like a high status person does something wrong. Um, to be completely honest, um, I think that it's easy to definitely say that and I wish it was like that. And I definitely think that, you know, personality is a really, really big factor, especially when you get into relationships. But I think the initial um, interaction girls will have with guy like physical, like it is, it is pretty important. Like I've heard multiple, multiple girls I mean, especially guys, I'm sure do the same thing. They're like, oh, who's that girl? And you first go like, oh, can I see an Instagram picture of them? You know, it is like, it is normal for people to just go and judge based off of looks. You know, we can't deny that. I don't think anyone can deny that. So if you kind of mean like physically gifted, like, you know, um, I definitely think that initially people will tend to allow guys to break those rules. And I think it goes back to, you know, even the perception of like frats, like over here at UCSB, ATO kind of has this perception of going and being like, you know, really, really hot guys, you know, are in ATO. And then uh, girls, even though they're aware of that, um, they still kind of go to those frats. And even though they know maybe those guys might not be like the best, um, they'll still go and like allow them to kind of break rules, at least initially, of course, like, once that happens and you experience that it does hurt like that feeling of getting hurt then you will go and say like you know when you get into like an intimate relationship that's also when you want something more and I kind of think it goes back to like that hookup culture where initially being like hooking up is like it might seem fun but like after a while like it's just so unfulfilling just like you know being unfulfilled like you want something more than just someone who's attractive but you also want to get into a deeper level we have a clarifying super chat here from Edward oh. and scored Edward Scornfield. No, no, no. Intri <laughs> intrinsically, they want strong masculine oh. men first. Forget the status. So I think Chase, yeah, he's he's, he's correcting me. He's correct. Yeah, what he's, I said. he specifically does want to know about the strong masculine. My apologies men. Oh. for correct thinking I was correcting what you said, Edward. Well, I was. I mean, I was thinking along the same lines of that's maybe a. This is his original one. A better way to get at the women's willingness to. Uh, oh wait, this is not the original one. Sorry, hold on. It's this one. Two, there's, he's sending a lot. Thank you, Edward. Really appreciate it, man. Um, so, if a man is not physically gifted, are you less likely to let him cheat than the man who is physically gifted? Um, I feel like you more often hear that less. I think you weren't wrong to ask that though, because I think you more often see that coming from men with a lot of status. So like a famous athlete or musician or whatever, a guy who's, I mean, I suppose a guy who's in exceptionally good shape, he's gonna be perceived as more attractive so he could potentially get away with more. But I mean, I think yeah. like in, in college settings, like the alpha jock dudes are probably going to get away with a lot more rule breaking, mm -hmm. but like out in the real world, 
those dudes like aren't as relevant to like women like grown women there's still a lot of chicks that go for them but like in the in the real world the, like of adults and stuff like it's typically like the presidents and the billionaires and the yeah. professional athletes and the the movie stars that are you know they've got a girlfriend or a wife and they're they have tons of affairs and their girlfriend or wife just lets them get away with all of it you know and that's like a good point that you make too and it's like you know back to that like ucsb culture so like over here i definitely think ucsb is a bubble like iv is a bubble you know like if you also you let's just just because we have viewers that aren't really okay. in the area i'd say let's try not to let's maybe avoid the nuances of dating and i know i asked that question mm -hmm. initially but um, I think overall, let's just try to keep things more general. Okay, yeah. So, um, sorry. Um, yeah, so maybe like going back to like what it's I good. think that they went and perceived uh, or what that question actually entailed about like that strong masculinity. I would have to maybe say like it actually doesn't matter because I think every single girl has like a type. Like I was very surprised like going and finding out my friends types like for me like you know i was like oh like or i was very surprised to find out some of my friends types that was not what i perceived like every girl's attracted to something differently that doesn't mean just because like you see in movies oh girls are really you know attracted to just like very strong masculine guys that's actually not true like some girls are attracted to like you know the exact opposite or there, maybe there's some women's that are attracted to a fet weak men <laughs> yes actually you would be surprised i mean like yeah. the artsy chicks like yeah the, no. like the skinny yeah. white guys like that's a like yeah. so many of my friends it's a huge thing it's like a trend right now it's like skinny white guys skinny white guys tall, like but tall skinny yes white guys. Skinny oh white my guys. god yeah mm -hmm. okay. it's As like a, a default, trend though, like there was even a comment that said it was like if you're handsome enough they'll let you do it and that is 100 percent true and it, it goes both ways too because i mean you'll even see dudes that yeah. say you know even taking out looks away from it like that are high value where you know this chick could not have a lot going for her, but just is very good looking and dude just like throwing themselves under the bus mm -hmm. and like dropping tons of money on them and they just like trample them and treat them like shit and there's zero self-respect no. um, i mean it definitely goes both ways there's no doubt in my mind that the more attractive that you are um the more physically fit you are mm -hmm. the more you can get away with there's there's no debate about it An anthony or sorry anthony <laughs> i don't know where i'm coming sorry edward Sc scornfield speaking of athletes uh, Junior Soprano left a comment. These girls never had the makings of a varsity <laughs> athlete. Um, <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I played did, varsity volleyball. Okay. That that's Thanks. from that's from Junior Soprano, the uh, boss of the Demio crime family in oh. New Jersey. Is it because we don't like? Is it because we're not? Mo is he saying that we don't look like we're varsity I, athletes? Is that is that what he's saying? You know what? I don't want to speak for Mr. Soprano. Of course not. Right. <laughs> he's saying that. I mean, did you guys play? Uh, lacrosse or anything? I lacrosse. played varsity volleyball, so Ath he's not talking athlete? about me. Are any sports? I got a varsity letter for managing the varsity golf team. For managing? <laughs> for, 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 what? For managing? Yeah. I also so you just stood football. there. <laughs> what? No, no, no. I like booked their like little golf. Did you? Thing. Did you play? One time, but I threw the driver when I so did the thing. <laughs> It was bad. Okay, I didn't know that's how that works. Uh, what about you? Uh, yeah, I, I actually was a golfer, so <laughs> maybe, maybe you would have managed me. Okay, know. and then.